So I'm having fun and games with these pro curve switches. So what you have to do to get the firmware upgraded, if they've got weird firmware on them like these ones have, is get a couple of paper clips, press in both of these reset and clear buttons simultaneously, then release the restart button while holding down the clear button until this test light starts to flash. Then you can use putty via the serial cable uh, to upgrade the firmware which you can download from HP's website. It took me about 45 minutes to get this to work, which is quite annoying. Um, so the thing that took me the most time is you have to wait for that little light to flash. It doesn't do it always. It took me a few goes. And then when you log in, um, it gives you a slightly different message. And then on the on the software, you can see it's it's fairly straightforward to use. One of the things that's a bit weird about the, the interface on this, um, what you have to do is, if you want to select Execute, you have to select press Enter here and then you can click the execute button. It's really confusing. Anyway, and don't forget, obviously, you've got to restart the thing before it will upgrade to the latest firmware. All right, so I'm gonna have a go at doing this while I'm uh, filming it, sorry about the noise. So, it's quite tricky to do. Mm, okay, we did. All right, let's see if we can show you how to do it on this one. So, press both buttons in. Uh, that's if I'm actually filming it. See that this is the problem that, that the fault light isn't coming on so it's not actually doing anything. There you go, now that lights come on, we'll let go of the reset button. We want that button to flash, which is the test light there's flashing, let go. And then go back to my screen here. It's no longer. Oh, I think it's still booting up at present, actually. Why is this screen around this way anyway? Just to annoy you. I didn't know how to hold it landscape, but I've done it in portrait now. Alright, well. Uh... See, this is what it did before. It just sat there frozen. So presumably, it's not actually restarted. The firmware's not loaded or something, so I, I just restarted it again last time I did that. Yeah. Just press just the reset switch. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Look at the really up to date firmware on these things, it's only uh, what, 16 years old. I had to do another reset of this, but you can see now it displays the Pro Curve switch rather than the name of the site. So it should now work. It's got. Uh, download us. Appear address. Oh, I hate this thing, it's a bit clunky. Uh, Name is this. Right, Execute. Yay! Look, now it's working. Makes it even go nuts. It needs to be sort of jar as well to actually edit the thing. There you go, anyway. See you later.